Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm in my WordPress website um, builder dashboard here and I'm going to show you how to actually uh, manually put in a Facebook like button or well it could have been a Twitter button or anything like that so what we want to do is put it at the top of the post now the first thing I want to do is go to the plugin section which is on the side here just press on plugins and I just want to make sure that I haven't got um, a plugin activated to do social networking um, icons already which I have and it's called one click retweet share and that so I'm just going to deactivate it for a minute okay so just press on deactivate and now it should be gone from the website so I'll go and check the website I'll go to this link here and I'll just say um, I'll right click on it and say open link in new tab and I'll just go and have a look and see what's happening alright so the I had some icons just here and now they're gone so what I want to do is I want to put some more icons in here um, probably just under this section where it's got the details of the post but before the content okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Facebook um, and the link is on the post that I'm doing so if you're watching this video on um, YouTube just click on the link below it'll take you to the post so you can see all these links and stuff that I'm using um, okay so we've got facebook.com slash share okay so that's where I am at the moment and I'm just gonna make a button so if you have a look here we've got a choice here a button or a link and it's got a preview over here so if I choose link it turns into this which is pretty boring so I'm gonna go for this one with the counter um, so I've got this box ticked and also you can move it like this if you like um, I'll think about it but we'll just do the simple one at the moment because it'll leave a big white gap there so we'll see what happens so we're just going to do a small one for now and when people press on it what do you want them to share do you want them to share a custom URL or, or do you want them to share the URL that they're on okay so let's just say that we're going to get them to share the page that they're actually on alright for now but if you just want to um, share your home page all the time you can choose that I'll just show you see they'll let you add a URL in there I'll go back right so here's my code here okay so I'm just going to copy it right so we're going to go copy because it's all blue and selected and now I'm going to go back to my website and I'm going to go into the appearance section and I'm going to go on to editor I'm going to click on editor okay so now I'm in the code of my website and I want to go over to the side here and I'm going to go into ooh, which one I've got a few choices here I can go into single PHP which is a single post or I can go into uh, the index template okay um, we'll just do the single post for now so the index template would be what comes up on the front page and a single post is the actual individual posts that you click on okay so now I'm um, looking at single.php now what I'm going to do is scroll down and look for the spot where it says um, oh, title of the post um, and then it has all those oh here it is here right in front of my face see how it says post author authors link comments and stuff like that right so that's the actual spot that I was talking about um, it comes before the post okay let's have a look 
Right, so if I go back to the actual website, here it is here. The author's name, the date, and the comments. So there's no comments. Right, so I go back, and this looks pretty familiar here. Okay, so we've got the time, the date, and the comments looking there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just pop that code right in here. I'm going to paste it. Okay, so there it is. I've just pasted it in. All right. So when you're editing here, just make sure if you're new at this, um, I probably suggest that you select all of this text first and copy it. So just say you press Control and A and copy it all and go and paste it into a notepad. So open up the notepad, paste it in. Oh. I didn't copy it, but paste the whole lot in and um, just keep it there just in case you want to paste it back in. Okay, so you, so basically you copy all of that and I'll just get that notepad back again and you paste the whole lot into the notepad. Okay, now just leave it there. You don't have to save it or anything. It's just a backup. So put it down the bottom of the screen while you're working on this. Now what I've done here, yep, is I've posted that in. So we are going to press update. And to see any changes, it's not going to happen on the front page, which is the home page. So it's not going to happen here. Okay, so we're going to go into the actual post. So click on the title of the post. And here it is here. Okay, we've got it in the right spot. Perfect. Okay, so I've got my button there. Um, now I'm going to go and uninstall it and take it out. And um, I'm going to install a plugin that um, does the same thing. And um, you might like that instead. Now I can go and add more buttons in here, but there's no guarantee that they're going to line up or anything, which could turn into a bit of a problem if you don't know how to edit the um, code. Alright, so let's go and take this away. So I'll just have a look for my Facebook thing. Take it out. So we're just going to delete it. So make sure you're not deleting the wrong stuff. And we'll update the file. And we'll go and have a look at the website. I'll just refresh it. And the Facebook button should be gone. Okay, so there it is there. Right, so now I'm going to go into my plugin section and I'm going to install a different plugin uh, besides that one there that I did have already. I didn't quite like that one, so I'm going back going back to get my other one that I like. So I'm going to press Add New for the Add New plugin. And then I'm going to search for Dig. Uh, dig dig I think it's called search the plugins so I type that in uh, it is it's called dig dig alright so I'm just gonna press on install now and it says are you sure I'm gonna say ok right I'm just gonna press on activate the plugin ok so now I want to go to the settings of the plugin. So I'm going to press on settings in the side menu. And I'm going to look for the plugin. Now, if it's not in there, it'll be in the tools section. So let's see, is it there? I can't see it. So I'm going to go to the tools section and see if it's in there. Oh, here's the tool section here. No. Oh, it's got its own thing now. Oh, here it is down here. Alright. <coughs> it's a while since I've used it, so it's got its own thing here. Okay. So we have to fill in a few things here, okay? Um, your, just say your, um, what's it called? Twitter name. Okay, um, 
resource Twitter. Well, let's just put you can put another one if you want to, or um, URL shortener. Um, I have got an API key, but I can't remember what it is. I suppose I'll have to go get that. Um, Topsy source. I don't even know what Topsy is. Right. Let's go down. Yeah. All right. So let's just save the changes in the sections that I've done something in. So I'm going to press Save Changes there. And save changes there. Okay, I'll come back and put a URL shortener in there. Okay, so what else do we want to do? We want to do a. Ooh, I don't know. Let's have a look at. I don't know what a toolbar supply um, thing is, but let's have a look. Toolbar display. Okay. Okay, that's not happening. They haven't got that, obviously. So let's go to the normal display. Right. Okay, so we're going to put it into a post. And we're going to... First, we're going to press on Enable Normal Display. Um, and we'll press Save, of course. Okay, so it's enabled. Now, we're choosing to put it into a post, and we can go along and come back and put more on if we want to. Um, include all post categories or you can just choose the ones you want. Okay, so let's go. Now, these are the buttons that I want to have. Now, you get to choose what type of button. So we want to go, let's go, um, let's go before the content, okay, and we'll have a compact button. So the normal button is the one with the counter, okay? So let's go down a bit more and we'll go for the Facebook share and we'll go before the content again, compact. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got, you know, choose whichever one you want. Um, okay, we've got a Facebook share, right? Facebook share dot me that's not Facebook and but this one is this is Facebook so let's see what happens we could actually put this one after the content okay um, and let's go I don't know god we'll come back and have a look in a second or something like that but um, Let's have a look. I'm not really sure. Let's just pick that one. Radio. So what have we got? We've got a Facebook share and a Twitter up the top and they're both compact. And then we've got a like box count down the bottom of the page. That'll be after the content. Okay, so let's press save changes. Okay, so we'll just check to see if there's any more settings down there. No. Alright, now we'll go to the website <coughs> and we'll go into the post because that's where we place them. Okay, so there they are there. Okay, so let's go down the bottom, down the bottom of the post when we get to it and here's a like button sitting here by itself as well. So you can add a few more things in here. Um, yeah that's how easy it is I suppose. Now I can change this like button around and see what it does. If I go in there down to this, let's have a look. Um, I have no idea what this will do but we'll just check it out. And we'll go back and we'll refresh it. There we go, a nice little um, Facebook recommend button there as well. Alright, so obviously they've got a few options there which is pretty cute. Um, and this is easy to put in and I really didn't have any trouble with the dig dig um, one. The only trouble I had is when I tried to float it down the side here with Ajax floating. Um, if you want to just simply put it in here then it's a pretty good plug-in. Alright, otherwise I've shown you how to do it manually. Alright, thanks for watching.
Okay guys, if you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you come up here where it says subscribe and press on the subscribe button here. Um, that'll let you know when we've got all new videos and stuff like that. Also, you can go um, in here and have a look at all more videos if you like. There's heaps, there's 211 so far. You might find something you like. Just scroll along and um, you'll be able to see. And also, um, if you're on my website already and you're watching this video, you should um, put your email address and name in there and subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, because I give away like free reports and stuff like that and they're not just any old thing they're, they're written by me and um, they have some really good tips and tricks in there about building websites or you know computer tips or whichever one alright thanks for watching